Hi, I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavia today. I am going to cook a traditional Swedish dish called Jansons Fristelse, or in English it would be called Jansons Temptation. And uh, it's a traditional dish and I would th think you want to use it for Christmas. It's really great on the Christmas table or Juleboard. The ingredients for Jansons Fristelse or Jansons Temptation uh, are about four potatoes, some anchovies or sprats they can also be called and we have about a, about a tablespoon or a large tablespoon of butter a little bit of pepper i have a large chopped onion and then a cup of okay, heavy cream i have sliced the potatoes and uh, first cut it in slices here and then afterwards i cut the slices into strips like this okay So now we're going to add all the ingredients together. Now I add some chopped onions. I have a large chopped onion. Sprinkle it on here. Okay. Now the anchovies are coming in. Put them on top. It's up to you how many anchovies you want to put in there. And they might be a little bit salty, so you might not need to add a whole lot of salt. I like to add a little bit of pepper. Now I'm going to add the rest of the potatoes. Some more onions. And finally, the rest of the potatoes. On top. And of course, we're using an oven proof dish. I am pouring a cup of heavy cream on. And finally, I like to add a little bit of butter on top. It's a large tablespoon of butter I have here. So you just spread it out on top. And the tray is now going to the oven. And I have the oven at 400 degrees, approximately 400 degrees. And I'm going to leave it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out of the oven and see how it looks and test the potatoes and most likely it needs to get in the oven for another 20 to 25 minutes. You want to make sure that the potatoes are all cooked. And if you like so, you can also sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs on top. I don't do that I today. have now taken the Anton's Fresnels out of the oven. It's been there for about an hour and I actually added a little extra milk in between. So now we are ready to have it for the Christmas holidays. I would suggest that you serve the Jansen's Fresnelse with some rye bread or Vasa crisp bread and also for the holidays have a, a little beer, it's always good. Well, the holidays are just around the corner and I hope you are going to try out the Jansen's Fresnelse or Jansen's Temptation for the Christmas holiday table. Some people say that the dish goes back to the around 1800 to a Swedish opera singer, his name was Jensen's, but other people think that it is from a movie that was made in the 1920s. So I'm not quite sure about how old the recipe is, but it is a definitely a traditional Swedish I hope you'll enjoy recipe. It. And also please subscribe to our channel as well as mark like. And uh, good you to everybody. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas.